Hey, what's happening guys? What's going on YouTube? What's cracking? Uh, in today's video, I wanted to show you guys kind of my, uh, my flea market find of the day today. Uh, this is a Fargo fan by Fanimation. Uh, we picked it up for 40 bucks at the flea market. And actually, while I was walking around the flea market holding it, uh, an older gentleman stopped me and offered me 80 for it. Uh, so I could have flipped it for a quick 40 bucks, but I had looked previously on eBay and uh, there's not very many. I think there's only two on eBay right now. Uh, one's going for, I think, $285 with $25 shipping. And another one is going for, I think, $156. But it's like, you know, six six days and 18 hours left, and it's already at $156. So that one will probably be uh, up around $265, if not higher, by the time it sells. Uh, kind of why I wanted to make this video. I've been slacking a little bit on making videos. But also, um, I wanted to talk a little bit about reselling and kind of how I got, got my start reselling. And I also thought it, it kind of gave a good example uh, of starting a niche site. Um, so real quickly, before we get into that, I, I thought there was kind of a cool story behind this fan. When I picked this up, to me, it looks like something like super vintage from like the 1920s or something like that. Uh, these fans, I don't know if they still make them anymore, but they started making them, I think, in either 85 or 94. Um, and I think my, my girlfriend's really into like old vintage fans and stuff like that. So I think we may take a ride down to Indiana next weekend. Uh, the guy who owns this fan company, his name's Tom Frampton, kind of a cool entrepreneur story as well. Uh, when he was 17 years old in high school, he was living in California. He was working for a company called Burton's, which restored antiques. Um, eventually, that company was either bought out or turned into the Casablanca Fan Company. Um, and eventually, he left the Casablanca Fan Company and started uh, Fanimation. Uh, Fanimation is actually based out of <coughs> Excuse me, I'm, I'm uh, got a cold. I'm sick this weekend. Uh, Fanimation is actually based out of Zionsville, Indiana, which is uh, about two hours and forty minutes outside of Chicago. And they actually have, I guess, there's like an antique fan collectors association, um, and they actually have like the fan museum uh, where they have like over six hundred vintage fans down here in Indiana. Um, this fan, why it looks so vintage? <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, why this fan looks so vintage, it's actually based on an old fan from probably, I think, the 1920s or so called the Savory, Air, uh, the Savory Aviator. Uh, so this is kind of a remake of that. And this Fanimation company, they actually do a lot of remakes of old fans. They have uh, kind of this like Peacock-style fan that was based out of another old fan. Um, and they also have sell these Havana fans. Their fans sell for big bucks, man. I think the, the Havana fan sells for about 600 bucks. Really, really cool fan, but really expensive as well. Um so I thought that guy's kind of entrepreneurship story, like how kind of he developed a passion for fans after working, you know, after his first job working for this uh, antique restore and eventually the Casablanca fan company. And then he went on to, to start his own fan company. So I thought that was kind of cool. Uh, I also wanted to talk a little bit about kind of getting your started, getting your start in e-commerce and making money online. Uh, kind of my start in making money online was uh, storage auctions, uh, like thrift stores, garage sales. <laughs> I'm sorry, I keep coughing, guys. Man, I'm sick this weekend. Um, it was, like my big start in e-commerce when I really got serious about it was when I first started buying storage auctions, which was kind of before the TV shows and things like that came on. Uh, but also going to like estate sales and things like that. And I know a lot of people want to get started in drop shipping right now. Most people who get started in drop shipping fail. Uh, in my experience, most people who get started buying like old stuff and reselling it actually make money. And what's kind of cool, you know, it, it's harder to scale running around yourself, like finding unique items at estate sales and things like that. But one of the things that you have going for you is, A, you're getting this stuff dirt cheap. I remember when I bought, first bought my first storage auction, like there was no way I could have not made money doing it. Um, and yeah, it takes more work, like going to storage auctions and cleaning out the units and having to, to resell the stuff than it does just drop shipping. But you know, your chances of success, I think, are, are a lot higher as well. <coughs> uh, sorry, I'm driving you guys crazy. Keep coughing here. Um, uh, another thing I like about selling like unique or, or old items, there are only two of these items on eBay. On, on the entire eBay site, there's only two of these items. If you go on eBay and look for paracord bracelets or, um, you know, selfie lights, whatever else, you're going to find thousands of results. If, if I were to, my girlfriend's not going to let me resell this. She wants to keep it. But if I were to resell this, there's only two other ones selling on all of eBay. <coughs> And that's one of the cool things about finding items at, at thrift shops, estate sales, flea markets. Uh, you know, it's a lot of unique stuff. And a lot of these things have a collector's market, um, but there's not a ton of the things floating around. Some of the other cool things I, I see at the flea market, and the one that I, I go to, 
for any of you guys who are, who are in Chicago, one of the biggest ones and one of the ones that I think are kind of cool, it's called Wolf's Flea Market. It's it's in the parking lot of the Allstate Arena in Rosemont, just outside of Chicago. Uh, and that's actually where we went today. I noticed a lot of video games. People have like old Ataris, um, old Super Ni <coughs> <coughs> old Super Nintendo systems. Uh, I saw a couple of Intellivisions today. Uh, a lot of other kind of unique kind of Americana type of memorabilia. Uh, one thing that goes for a good buck that a lot of times I see cheap there, uh, the old like uh, wooden wooden crates for uh, like 12 packs or 24 packs of, you know, like old school like 7-Up or Pepsi or Coca-Cola. Uh, strong collector's market for that type of stuff. That's one of the other things about uh, buying used stuff. And when I used to buy storage auctions, um, you know, you find items and like this is pretty easy, right? It, it's labeled right here. It's labeled Fargo by Fanimation. But there's a lot of items that you'll find that you know they're old, you, you know they're unique, but they don't necessarily have a model number or a brand name on them. And uh, <laughs> it can be a challenge figuring out like what the item is, the history of it, the value of it. But a lot of times that's that's kind of the fun part as well. Uh, just kind of why this fan's kind of cool. Um, it puts out air 360 in all directions. Um, and also it's a desk fan. So what you'll notice if we put that there, I don't know if you guys can see, but that, that's blowing in the wind. Once it goes below the fan, you can see it's not blowing at all. So the way this fan is set up, it's actually, you know, unless you're above it, it's not going to blow air. So uh, it's not going to rustle uh, papers on your desk and things like that. So um, that's a couple of things I wanted to discuss. I also wanted to talk about setting up... Um, I don't even necessarily want to say affiliate sites because I think affiliate sites kind of like give off a, a certain image of like, hey, I'm going to make a site uh, with Amazon affiliate links comparing uh, shark vacuums to Dyson vacuums. And it's like another thing where there's a million fucking people doing that. So, um, you know, I don't know whether this would be promising or not, but just one idea that popped in my head. Apparently, there, there's a, a market, you know, there's a, a group of people, there's a niche of people who are interested in, in collecting old vintage fans. Obviously, there's a museum uh, devoted to it, so there must be people interested in it. When I went to find information about this Fargo fan and the history of it, very little information out there about it. Um, <coughs> very little information out there about it. So what that tells me is it would be incredibly easy to rank in Google. I could probably write a handful of articles about this particular fan as well as vintage fans and I could probably rank on the first page of Google if not instantly within a couple hours or a couple of days and then as far as like how to monetize something like that like I could do something like run Google AdSense or something like that but another thing I could do the eBay partner network the eBay affiliate program I believe they pay you 50 percent not 50 percent of the final value sold of an item but 50 percent of whatever fees eBay collect collect so if this fan sold for a hundred bucks and eBay charges a 9% fee on the fan category. That would be $9 in profit. Me and eBay would split that $9 and I would get four fifty for the sale. Now, again, you're not going to have as many people searching for Fargo fans or uh, savory aviator fans, vintage fans as you are for video games and some other stuff. Uh, but it's going to be incredibly easy to kind of rank for that type of stuff as well. So uh, that's really all I really got for you guys today. This was my, uh, my flea market find of the day. <laughs> Again, like I said, I picked it up for uh, for 50 bucks. I immediately had some guy just randomly offer me 80 for it. Um, if I were going to resell it, I could probably get 250 plus for it. Um, but my, I think my girlfriend's going to want to hang on to this, so we're probably going to keep it. Um, but yeah, that, that's my little video for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button down below. Um, if you guys have any comments or anything about uh, affiliate marketing or, or like getting your start in reselling at estate sales or flea markets and things like that, would love to hear your guys' kind of stories or best finds and stuff as well. So drop a comment down in the comment section below. Uh, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Later, guys.